What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys Choice Specs Toxtricity for Regulation H. Now, when it comes to this Toxtricity team, this team is looking phenomenal. We got Gardevoir, we got Garchomp, we got Talonflame, we got Basket Legion, and last but not least, we got Serena over here. So we got a bunch of fan favorites on today's team. Hopefully, we can rock out with it, grab some wins for you guys, and use Toxtricity to its fullest potential. But let's talk about this Pokemon a little bit more. It's got Punk Rock as its signature ability, which will boost sound type moves. It's got the Choice specs it's got the normal terror type with overdrive boom burst sludge bomb and toxic so i can do massive amounts of damage with this thing with three of her moves and on top of that i can put big time poisons on the pokemon with toxic like i mentioned we also have gardevoir on this team pairs up super well with toxicity due to its telepathy ability gardevoir also is rocking the focus sash with dazzling gleam psychic imprison and trick room so if we're going up against the trick room squad we're just going to imprison it stop that right in its tracks our final four Pokemon, Garchomp, Talonflame, Basket Legion, and Serena over here. Talonflame's going to be good for setting up Tailwind, burning physical attackers with Will-O-Wisp. Garchomp obviously there for big time physical attacking. Same thing with Basket Legion with that adaptability ability. And last but not least, like I mentioned, we got Serena over here. Stops first turn priority and can also do big time damage just like Garchomp and Basket Legion. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Toxtricity team. First match on its way, and we're going up against Hat Pikachu. That's just regular Pikachu, but it looks way cooler with the hat. They also have Grimmsnarl, who I am a little scared of due to the screens. Screens are just so good, making your team super bulky, and they can really do a lot of damage. On top of that, they got Pelipper, they got Swift Swim Floatzel, they got Archlodon, and then they got Fido over here. Evo Light Fido? I kind of hope so. That Pokemon is hilarious. It's just like a bakery dog with like donuts or like buns on its ears. We love it. We love Fido. It's just adorable. But... One thing I do want to do here is go into Talonflame. I feel like Speed Control could be really big for us, especially because they do have, obviously, Pelipper and, and what's it called? And Floatzel. And I think I could pair this up next to Toxtricity due to the Ghost Terror type on Talonflame. So I can Terrasalize Ghost, go into Boom Burst, do some big time damage. Or I could just protect you. You have Protect? No, you don't. Oh, yeah, you do. Cool. Awesome. So I do like having both of them. Um... In the back end, I feel like you could be really good here. You're still decently fast. You have Aqua Jet. Adaptability makes you do so much more damage with the Choice Scarf as well. So I'm going to go Batch Legion. And last but not least, we kind of need someone to deal with Arch Ludon if they are going to bring it. So Garchomp is definitely going to be our call. So we're locking that in. Looking for a win here in match number one. Looking to get this video started off hot. Really hoping we can. But something I forgot to do. Did I forget to hold up? Nope, never mind. I thought I forgot to lower the brightness on my monitor because I always lower the brightness on my monitor when I'm recording so it doesn't like flash back in my face. It's just like lighting up in all different colors. I thought I forgot to for a second because my screen's looking really good right now. It's looking way better than normal. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it is. They're going to end up leading Grimstarl. I am a little scared of this thing and this little Fido. Look at that thing. It's adorable. <laughs> all right. So do I have Terrasize or do I just attack? I could throw some burns around if I want to. Tailwind could be good, but I'm, I really don't know what this Pokemon's going to do to me. I really don't know what this Pokemon's going to do, do to me. I kind of just want to set up this Tailwind. I really do. I'd rather go into, like, normal terror here. And boom burst. Hmm. You know what? We're not even going to normal terror yet. We're going to protect this first turn. And I'm going to normal terror this thing. Alright. Yeah, let's rip a boom burst. Just does so much damage. It just does so much damage. So I'm going to rip it. I'm going to send it. Might as well give it a shot here. So I do have Bash Legion in the back end if I want to swap. But I think this protect's good. I think this is a good protect. Because they probably think we're setting up Tailwind. We could always just uh, Brave Bird. Everest, we can always sacrifice our... Uh, Talonflame as well. Just drop a Boom Burst and Brave Bird at the same time. So we got a lot of options here. But I think getting off this initial Boom Burst damage is really good for us. And he is going to set up Light Stream, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I wonder what this dog's doing. I really don't know what it's doing. Boom Burst is going to get negated a good chunk by Light Stream, but let's see how much damage it could still do with the Choice Specs, Punk Rock, all these boosts. That's, st that's still really good damage. That's still really good damage. This thing's going to Agility Boost up. Um, I think this is more of like an agility kind of, uh, an agility 
maybe baton pass. But now I'm going to set up Tailwind, and I'm sacrificing my my Talon Flame here. I'm doing it. I'm setting up the Tailwind. I'm sacrificing her Talon Flame because we know Boom Burst is going to pick up the double KO if it lands. So by getting off this Tailwind, it's just really big for us. So I get off Tailwind. If Talon Flame dies, which is most likely will, it's fine. He's going to actually flatter. Oh, no. Not flatter. His special attack is boosting. And he's own tempo, so he won't be confused. But I think, yeah, I was going to say, you should go first, which is massive. So now I'm just KOing the field, right? Yep, the field cleared, gone. I'll sacrifice my Talon Flame all day for that. Because I don't know what you were doing, doggy, but you were setting up, and I was not I was not liking that. I was not liking you being agility boosted on top of, on top of special attack boosted with own tempo. That was that was not looking good. I need to get rid of him. So now with me choosing the boom burst, I mean our best bet's just to go into Bash Legion here. We have Tailwind up and I can spam boom burst because this thing is ghost type. Should be thriving here. We should be thriving right now. We got a lot of speed, we got adaptability, we got damage ready to go. We got rain now. Rain just helps me out. Rain just helps me out. The Pelper Arch Ludon come out here. That Pokemon's scary now. Now that Pokemon's scary. I mean, Basket Legion should still do a ridiculous amount of damage with, with Wave Crash, so I am going to launch it. And on top of that, we're just going to rip a Boom Burst. Because, you know, we're choice into it. Maybe I should have swapped my Toxtricity. But he's going to end up Y Guard. Okay, I see you, Pelper. I see you, Pelper. I understand. Are you body pressing me? Wave Crash, how much damage are you doing? That's the real question. That's solid damage. You're going to Stamina Boost? You are. All right. Boomburst is going to come out here. It is going to get blocked. I wonder if they're going to uh, go for another wide guard. So I could swap Toxtricity here. Unless if you just body press KO. Let's see. You got an Electro Shot. Electro Shot. I really hope you're going after Toxtricity here. Because wide guard could... Yeah, no, we're dead. Wide guard could easily win him the game here. Hmm. Okay. I see you. I understand. I understand. I have to boom burst, which is my problem here. How many turns left in Tailwind? I mean, we outspeed regardless of Tailwind, so that's good to know. But I'm choosing the boom burst, which is my sole problem right now. So honestly, I'm going to protect and I'm going to hope that they don't go for another Y guard. And we're just going to send boom burst. That's really what this match comes out to, if they go for Y guard here or not. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. I was thriving out, and now this little bird with Y guard is going to ruin my matchup. Please don't do it. Because I need to bring down this Arch Lodon a little bit more. Just a tad bit more. In hopes that, like, EQ can KO it. But he might just Terrasilize, because they still have Terra, right? Yeah, because we KO Grimstrong and that, and Fido with no Terra. And yeah, there's Terra. Please, no Y guard. So, so they're going to Terrasilize here. Definitely got to be Arch Ludon. Yep. Going into flying terror. So good thing we didn't attack this thing just yet with the ground move. But again, we don't we, we just need them to not Y guard. We can be sitting in a good position. So protect comes out here. Obviously, protect is gonna go before this Y guard and the Y guard. We're choosing this. I can't do anything about it. The problem here is with Y guard. The problem here is that I'm gonna hit my own guard chop. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Are you body pressing me? What are you doing here? I'm gonna launch a Draco Meteor. Okay, we, we blocked that. So there's a chance here. There's a chance, but Dragon Claw is not gonna KO. That's my problem. Are you faster, Garchomp? Please show me your faster than Toxtrus. You should be. You should be. 139. Yeah. The chances are I KO my own Garchomp here. We're gonna have to Dragon Claw this slot and we're gonna launch another Boom Burst. He's gonna Y Guard again. Oh, he knows some choice now. He knows some choice. That's why I kind of want to swap it. But he ended up electro shotting my Basket Legion. Dragon Claw flies out here. Not enough damage. And yeah, that's going to be game. That is going to be game. Bye bye to my guard chomp. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Unless they don't Y guard next turn. That's the only way. We need you to not Y guard. We need you to not Y guard. So we just send her a guard chomp out here for death sentence. And Toxtricity just dumps on it. Oh, man. A little bit of wide guard action. Aura Spear comes out here. And that's not going to KO us, is it? No, it does. It does. GG to our opponent. We lost to wide guard Pelipper. Hard fought match in match number one. We were dominating with Toxtricity up until that Pelipper came out onto the field. But we got ourselves a harder challenge here. We're going up against a Groudon team. 
Love going up against restricted Pokemon without a restricted Pokemon. They got Serena over here, Gudra, Whimsicott. They got Hisui and Logan who thrives out in the sunlight. And last but not least, they do have Fluttermane. Um, how am I going to play this one? I mean, speed control is going to be a big factor for us. So I think going into like Talonflame here is going to be really good for us. So Talonflame is going to be my lead. Um, but, 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 but actually, I could go Trick Room instead. This actually could be good for us. So I'm going to go into you. You have Focus Edge. I could go into Toxtricity if I want to. But I feel like maybe going into like Garchomp could be a little bit better here for us. I got EQ. I can EQ freely. I do like him. I do like the Chomp. Actually, are you going to leave Whimsicott or Fluttermane? Dude, this is tough. Real tough for me, guys. As tough as it gets. We're going to go into Toxtricity. So I'll go Toxtricity. I will bring Gardevoir for Trick Room purposes. Um, as much as I want Basket Legion, it's not going to be that good. I think Serene could be pretty good here. Especially with Power Whip and Queenly Majesty, Taunt, all that good stuff. I do like that. So I'm going to bring that. And I guess if we can get out Garchomp at the right time, that's going to be a good Pokemon. Yeah, this match is going to be tough. I, I don't know how we're going to how we're gonna do up against this. I really don't. Considering we just lost to a Pelipper, how are we going to beat a Groudon? <laughs> Pelipper was just like, wide guard. And then in wide guard again, I was just like, this thing's definitely choice. And then he just wide guard its way to victory. Because we were looking so good until that Pelipper dropped that wide guard. I was like, oh, no. Then he took out my Basque Legion and I couldn't swap. So he ends up going into these two, which is totally fine by me. Um, I definitely want to pop a Trick Room. That is definitely what I want to do here. So I'm going to pop Trick Room and... Do I do it? I'm doing it again. <laughs> it just looks so like intriguing. It's like, I got to do it. I got to do it. This is a good position to do it in because I doubt they double into this guy. Especially being an electric type. Well, now I'm a normal type, but like Serene's main driving force is grass moves. So let's see how someone plays out here. Show me a tailwind. Show me a tailwind. Show me a tailwind. Yes. Cool. So they set up a tailwind. We set up a trick room. It's big time news for us. Big time news for us. I telepathy or I have telepathy. So Gardevoir is not taking any damage here. And boom burst is launching. Bye bye, Whimscott, or are you sashed? I kind of hope you're sashed. Maybe not. You're not sashed, that's fine. And I got a crit. You were dead regardless. I don't want to hear this opponent be like, oh my god, he got a crit. He's so lucky. Nah, you were dead regardless. My Toxtricity's hitting like an absolute truck who's carrying another truck on top of it with like three trucks beside it. That's how hard it's hitting. All right, so we Trick Room on top of their tailwind. Great call for us. We got some speed cooking. We got some speed for the next couple turns. Fluttermane's going to come out here. We don't like Fluttermane here. But, I mean, I can go for Psychic, I can go for Dazzle Gleam. Psychic gonna do a little bit more damage, so I am gonna launch it in that slot. And I am just gonna keep ripping Boom Burst. And they cancel match. So, we make up for match number one's loss. We sweep here in match number two. Moving on to our final match, and we're going up against Pelipper again. Pelipper gave us the work in match number one, especially with all those Y guards. But match number two, we bounced back, having a one-turn battle, setting up Trick Room, Boom Bursting, and just winning the match from there. But... Instead of Pelipper, they got Swift Swim Overcoil, they got Archer Ludon, they got Blastoids, they got a lot of Pokemon that work well in the rain. And on top of that, they got Hat Pikachu. A little bit of Hat Pikachu action. So, when I see Rain Squads, Toxtricity's pretty good for us. Um, they could set up Tailwind, they could set up Trick Rooms. So they got two options there. But I think just going into, like, these two could be good for us in case they want to leave for a graph. We can always just, you know, imprison the Trick Room. I'll bring Basket Legion, and late game, do we go Serene? I don't like this. I am scared of the sludge bombs, but like the combination of power whips and triple axle is pretty good. It's either Serena or Garchomp here. After looking at it, I think we want to go Garchomp. Super effective on the Archer Loot on Overcool Pikachu. I get down for it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So looking for a win here in match number three. We are sitting one and one. We had a quick second match. We had Pelipper do us dirty in match number one. Hopefully we can you know, get our revenge on Pelipper, even though I love Pelipper. One of my favorite Pokemons of all time. Just big beak bird. A little derpy big beak bird, I should say. But they end up going Pikachu alongside with this thing. I don't think they're going to drop Y-Guard right off the rip. I really don't. Actually, Pikachu has Lightning Rod, don't we? Yeah, Pikachu definitely has Lightning Rod. You know what? We're just going to go into Sludge Bomb here. We're going to play it safe. I'm going to attack this Pelipper. And do I pop a Trick Room? Because I feel like Pelipper's got to be popping Tailwind. Makes the most sense. Actually, we'll just Dazzle Gleam this turn. 
I think she's gonna end up faking out. Okay, that's fine. You set up Tailman? That's the real question. That's my real question to have. That's a lean does. Oh my lord. I think I just used up all my RNG for the week. Double crit? <laughs> I think we just used up all of our RNG for the week. Oh my lord. Double crit with Gardevoir. Stay hot, guards. Stay hot. Stay hot. Oh my lord. That never happens to me. Arch Ludon comes out here. That is a bit scarier. Uh, we want to try to pop Trick Room, I feel like. And just go for like a Sludge Bomb to finish off Pelipper. Let's Thrash Slice into Ghost. Now nah, we're just going to go for Trick Room. We're just going to try to pop Trick Room. He's going to end up soaking me and taking out my Toxicity, which is, I mean, that's fine by me. As long as you just attack this Toxicity slot, yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'll sacrifice my Toxicity all day to set up this Trick Room. So now I have Trick Room. I'll bring out Garchomp next to Telepathy Gardevoir. I can just start sending EQs and Dads and Gleams left and right. Works out well for us. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. All right, cool. Q, Q, Q. So we still have Bash Legion for late game. We're going to save him for a little bit. We still got a couple turns left in rain. Especially because it is Choice Scar. Now we go into Chomsky Badiddle. All right, Chomsky. This is where you shine. This is where you send EQs for free. And we can follow through with Dazzling Gleams. Go for Psychic, but I need to KO this Pelper here. Need to KO this Pelper. So, obviously, they want to do this. They want to Rasalize their Archer Ludon. Into what typing? Please don't be flying. Fairy. I can deal with Fairy. I can deal with Fairy. Unless you don't... Unless you have Terra Blast Fairy. Then that would be a different story. Why guard's going to come out here? Oh, man. Dude! It's all day today. It's it's all day today, Pelper get me. All day today. Why? All day today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Pelper just wide guarding me to victory. All day today. It's all day today. I, I don't know. I didn't think he would wide guard this turn. I really wouldn't. I really didn't think that. So now I can say probably bye bye to one of my Pokemon. Flash can. Yeah, you're dead. You live. You're Sash. Totally forgot. Alright. So from here, what's going to do more damage? Probably stomping tantrum into you. Actually, you're a bit bulkier on the defensive side. I'm just going to go Dragon Call and Dragon Call in this slot. And then I'll go for this. A little bit of psychic action. He's going to go for another wide ground. I'm sick of you. You're dead this turn. You were dead, Pelper. You're dead. You're dead, man. You're a dead man. They're gonna chip up some nice damage on you. That's solid damage on Arch Leon. He does get stamina boost, which really sucks. And Dragon Claw launches. Picks up the KO onto you. Alright. An Electro Shock and a Fly Through here. He's just gonna boost his special attack even more. So the problem here is Bascule Legion chilling in the room. It is really tough for us. This Arch Leon's just, oh man, it's just doing it so dirty. And I got Steel Terra, but that doesn't really do much for me. Their Tailwind's gone. We can't protect. I mean, I could Aqua Jet, but I mean, your stamina boosts it. You're going to go into Overquill. So right now, these Pokemon are probably faster than us in the Trick Room. Then you go for Intimidate as well. And yeah, dude, that pretty much puts me in a... Puts me in a losing position here. Because I have to go for Stompy Tantrum here. To KO this thing. And I mean, Last Respects could do some damage. Wave Crash can also do some damage. Do I Terra Water? Or do I Terra Steel? I think we have to Terra Water. Just look to do as much damage as we possibly can. Even though you are going to KO me with Electro Shot here. Brutal. Why guard just... I always forget about it. I always forget about it. This match, I didn't forget about it. It was more so... I didn't think they were going to use it, but the first match, we definitely forgot about it. Let's just always have some dirty. Flash Cannon's actually going to launch the Guard Chomp. Can you soak this? You do. That's huge. You go for Acupressure. You're just going to boost this thing's stats. His defense is going to go up. Wave Crash is definitely not KO, but Stopping Tantrum should. No, this thing's bulking out. Bulking up here. Wave Crash is going to launch. How much damage is this really going to do? Give me a crit. I need a crit. No. We used up all of our RNG today with the, with the double crit Dazzle Gleam. We used it up. 
And there should be one turn left in Trick Room, which kind of sucks here. Which really does suck, but it doesn't help us. Like, you're going to be... You guys are slower than me regardless, so it don't even matter if I protect here. Unless I make a read, but... I mean, you're going to die to Electro Shot here, and he's going to finish me off. So, I'm going to try to attack, at least. There goes Electro Shot. Yeah, because if we just protect and waste out these Trick Room turns, they have the upper hand on us anyway. But Archer Lodon's going to be an absolute menace in regulation, regulation each. Absolute menace. There goes that. He's going to dump on me with that. What is he, plus three now? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, we stand no chance. We stand no chance. But if I'm going to lose to any Pokemon, I'm glad it's one of my boys, Pelipper. Doing me dirty today. Bar Barrage going to finish off this match. And we got one or two for today's video. So guys, we'll take a 1-2 and two losing record. Not bad matches, but ended up just losing to Pelper today. Can't sugarcoat it at all. We had a one-turn match, match number two, which was our only victory. And then match number one and match number three were real close. Just came down to the wire. We just ended up losing them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.